the odds clearly favor AT and T to win. Um, there, uh, I, w- I would correct the last speaker only in the sense that vertical integration or large vertical companies were an antitrust concern going back to the 50s. But there hasn't been a vertical case brought in over 50 years. And indeed, modern antitrust thinking very much looks with disfavor upon blocking vertical deals. So I think AT&T has a pretty high level of confidence. Plus, you have a second um, issue, which is AT&T can argue on the basis of press reports that the only reason this remedy is being brought is it's really a First Amendment issue. They're being punished for the exercise of free speech uh, by CNN. So I think most courts would look to say the DOJ can't block it on these grounds. What I don't understand, Blair, is that there are, there are reports out there that either they want them to sell HBO, they want yep. them to sell CNN, maybe HBO and CNN, or direct TV, if not those two. I can understand perhaps some of the entertainment side. I guess I don't understand the CNN or HBO side. Does, does a news organization get special treatment in antitrust review because of the power of influence? We're not watching Game of Thrones. We're talking about information that goes out to the world. Well, I think it's an additional argument by, for AT&T about why the DOJ analysis is wrong, because it goes to the motive of the DOJ to block it, that there's a political motive. But if we take CNN out of it, then we have to come up with what's the theory of this Republican Department of Justice to block a vertical deal. This would essentially take us back to a period where most Republicans wanted to leave, where the government would say big is bad. Um, and so I think this has much broader implications. If the Trump Department of Justice is saying, we're now going to look at vertical deals as potentially anti-competitive, you're going to see all kinds of investment bankers and all kinds of others go, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Uh, that has precedential problems for lots of other things we're thinking about. You know what I don't understand is, okay, so we know that the president has been very critical of CNN. So at and yeah. forced to sell it. Okay. So what? CNN doesn't go yeah. away. CNN is still for sale. CNN still talks. I mean, it doesn't... Yeah. No, I, I completely agree with you. And then it raises another very interesting question about who buys it. Well, if Steve Bannon buys it, merges it with uh, Breitbart, and then they merge with, say, Sinclair, I think a lot of people, including, by the way, Rupert Murdoch, would be very upset by that. But a lot of other people would be upset because you're using the instrumentalities of government, uh, the rule of law, effectively, to create a certain kind of political apparatus. Uh, on the other hand, what if you sell it to, I don't know, the Washington Post and Amazon? Uh, does that solve a problem for Trump? So your, your question is a very good one, which is that CNN, as CNN, has value as CNN, and that value doesn't necessarily go away depending on the owner. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.